Hi there, this is a swap for Carla on MAS. It was a one-on-one -on -one, and we could do it in any way that we wanted. And so Carla and I talked and um, she asked if I could do one in the um, Twilight kind of theme. And so this is what I came up with in Carla. I hope you like it. I had a lot of fun making it. Every time I make one, I learn new things. So. Anyway, to the, we'll go to the spine first. And I'm recording this on my webcam this time, so we'll see how this works out. Um, I have two oversized eyelets here, and they really don't hold the, the book in at all. This is just for decoration. And I wrapped some of this glitter, sheer black ribbon through there. And I created a a little charm in uh, hearts and pearls and some crystals and of course some red and I threw on a little tiny shrink plastic bat. I don't know if you can see that very good. It's, it doesn't show up very good there. It's in the shape of a bat. Carla's team Edward so. Okay, now onto the front. Um, and first of all, I used the Immortal Stack from, I got it from Joann's, but it's by DCWV. And they have one that's print, and they have another one that's solid coordinating patterns and colors. And there's some with glitter and metallic, and then just some textured cardstock. So that's what I used. I made the book out of chipboard and I covered the front and back with some, it was, um, I don't really think it's washi paper, but I get it from this company that sells washi paper at our local um, heritage rubber stamp uh, convention, which we're going to have another one this weekend, tomorrow. And anyway, it's kind of like a pebbly surface. The surface is really neat. I'll show you the back later. And I had some old bonded leather that's, you know, kind of like a vinyl almost. And I cut that with, um, I think Tim Holtz on the edge die. So I got this shape on both sides. And then I just, I glued that in. And on the front, I covered it with one of the roses from the Immortal Love Stack series. And then I took the second rose and I cut parts out so that I could have some dimension here. So part of the rose is raised. And I don't know if you can see that well. I also added just a little bit of black glitter glue to some of the areas just to add a little bit more. And I put some seam binding here and it looks a little orange in the a little more orange than it is in the in the movie right here, but it's actually a little bit more red like this. So and so we've got a little tie here and then I made another little little charm right here for the front. I'm trying to go slow so I don't make anybody sick or anything. So. So anyway, and for my closure, I had, this is my first basic closure I've ever made, so this was different. Um, and I saw an example similar to this on a YouTube, and I'm sorry, I don't know who it is, but, um, where, but she had used these little, these little toggle clasps, and so I had some kind of bronzy ones, and I used my Copic markers. Um, beware though they take a little bit to dry I had markers all over my fingers from <laughs> but anyway the, this is removable and I'd like to figure out something to put on these edges here just to stabilize it so that the paper over time doesn't get all chewed up from the teeth on the little the little toggle things have some little kind of like teeth on them so and Okay, so, now to the front. Okay. 
I just adhered some glitter paper there. I, I ran some kind of elastic ribbon through here so that Carla can put either, you know, a photo or some other mementos in there to slide them in. Maybe a tag. And uh, this was just a charm that I had. And it was gold, so I took my Krylon silver pen and just covered that side. The back is still gold, but for the front I wanted that to be silver to go more with the general colors of the album. So. And Carla's sweetie, his name begins with an H, so I cut these out with some die cuts. And the H and K are in the sparkly paper, and then this is just the kind of black gray to go with the forever. And we go to the next page. And this is just um, just kind of a design page. There's no room for a picture here, but there is a heart with some wings and a sword that they can play with. <laughs> not much else it's just for decoration and here is the oops, a tag a tag with a paper had the moon in it and then I stamped always in my heart and that way she's got something that she can put um, some pictures in and then I put a little double heart charm there with some black seam binding And the next page, I didn't do anything to because I think the roses are just, are so lovely. They're just beautiful. So, but there is a photo sheet here, a little photo mat that you can pull out and put photos on each other, on each side. And here's an, uh, just a real scenic picture, real calm. Kept that the same. Then over on the next page, uh, this was printed paper. And I just use my craft knife and cut around the heart so she can slide something in there. Could be a picture, could be a tag, whatever she wishes. I also had um, a little stamp set that was the this little um, composition book. And then it came with like the little lined paper stamp too. So I made a little book. This is this is Bella's school book. <laughs> so. Or she can do journaling in there if she wants. So. Okay, the next page. It has a picture frame that is die cut out of chipboard and I uh, covered with paper and then I stamped with some of the iridescent Versamark. I don't know if you can see that pattern a little bit in there. I've got acetate in here, and I just cut this piece out by hand to put back here for now a little scene, but uh, Carla can put a photo in there if she wants. And then there's just the black seam binding and a bat punch. This is the same punch that I used for the little tiny bat that's on the charm hanging from the spine that was made out of the shrink plastic. So you can see the difference if you've never worked with a shrink plastic. <laughs> it gets quite a bit smaller. Okay, and then the next page is just a little kind of middle of the page a coin envelope, and that's what this is made out of. Uh, is, that's the base, and I've covered it with paper. The red and the black, and put a flap in the flaps here. This is an epoxy brad that I just took the legs off the brad and adhered here because it just it's not quite the same color but it, it goes with it and matches so and then yeah so it's with a magnet holds that shut there's a tag inside and I stamped the back so that Carla's got room for journaling. And this is just a page for putting a nice 4x6 photo on. Uh, this is a separate piece of paper and I embossed that with an embossing folder. And these are just some silver um, 
peel on those little peel on things, little strips. And then this page is kind of interactive. There's a flap here with a, um, this is a Spellbinders uh, border die. And this flap opens up where there's room for putting photos or memorabilia. This also pulls out and can put photos in it. And this really wasn't part of it, but it just kind of worked out being right there. <laughs> and this is a, just another little uh, coin envelope type thing with a, a little tag in there. And, uh, let's see. and a little rose. I think that was just something I got from Michael, so it might have been a recollections rose or something. And I touched it up with a little bit of glitter glue. This is a heart that I punch out. It's a Quick Cuts heart a die. And that was out of the uh, bonded leather. And it's on the paper that already had the embossing on it. And that's just a little charm I purchased from Joanne many years ago. And this, I don't know if this will show up very well on the, on the camera, but the background paper is white glitter paper. And I, I have these, these are the uh, Tim Holtz trees, I believe is what they're called. And I embossed them on acetate and then just cut around the edge on this, this side here so that Carla can just slide, she can slide something in here if she likes. And then I adhered some a string of rhinestones on here. And here's just a dark and gloomy picture. I don't live in Forks, but I do live in Washington State on the western side, the, the natural side. So we have a lot of rain and gray. <laughs> That's just typical. And a lot of green. Anyway, here's another place for some photos. And this is just a coordinating gray page there for photo and this is just a decorative element it, you can't slip anything through there uh, this is a little charm that I made I'd never seen anybody do that until my first book that I received in a swap from Talena Hairston and she had some little tiny ones all over on some of the ribbons she had in some of her pages and I just thought it was a really cute idea so thanks to Lena I'm copying that and it also has a place for photos. And another beautiful rose pit place where you can leave blank, put photos, or put whatever she'd like there. And this page, these are some more of the Quick Cuts heart dies. Uh, there's a whole series of them, maybe five or six, in graduated sizes and stuff. So these are the larger ones. And this has a, it says a song just for you on the bottom there. That's a flap and you can put tags or whatever in there. And, but it also lifts up with a lot of space for more photos or what, whatever. And then for the last page, this is just a blank page. Over here, I have an assortment of tags and little bits and pieces that she can, you know, put in her album once she's figured out what she wants to do with it as far as her pictures go. I also made this little file folder out of paper, and that can be put in there or wherever. And uh, this just has more more tags and little doodads and stuff that I made. So. Okay, and so this one has 
two pouches, two pockets right there. So I hope I captured the, the mood for her, but yet I still wanted to make sure that she could use it as an actual photo album if she'd like. So, so anyway, Carla, I hope you like it. Bye.